Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. Just a little review of a rodent repellent product that I've tried this time down south in the southwest. Been using it for about four months. Uh, it's called Fresh Cab, and uh, I don't have anything to do with the company or anything. I bought it myself, basically on recommendations from friends that have been using it for many years. So we camp a lot in the Pacific Northwest in the <clears throat> forests, and there's lots of mice in there. And also down in the southwest desert, there's quite a few rodents like kangaroo rats and pack rats that like to get into the trailer. So the trailer I have pretty well sealed up at the bottom. I try to plug every hole with uh, either steel wool or a combination of steel wool and spray foam. And that's worked pretty good, but the small little mice can sometimes find a way into my underbelly and get into my um, basement storage. So I tried this, I bought a pack of four before we left and I'm just ready to put the last of the four in. And so far it's worked quite well, haven't had any rodents. Now that could just be a fluke, there have, has been years that I haven't gotten rodents and then other years I've had lots of mice in the trailer and I've had to trap them and get rid of them sticky pads. Now I've tried all kinds of other things like dryer sheets and peppermint oil and all that. This stuff is sort of a, a commercial stuff. Um, it says that it's made out of balsam fir oil, a botanical pesticide. Um, there's also fragrance oil and plant fibers in there. It says made in the USA with 80% USA source content. So maybe let's maybe cut into this used one. We'll have a look what it's actually in these little pouches. Here we go. Almost looks like a granola. I guess it's small sort of wood pellets. They've been soaked in the, the oil. When you first open it up, it smells quite fragrant. Um, it's not that bad of a fragrance. I wouldn't want it in my living space, but down in the basement storage, it's kind of nice, kind of a woody wood oil smell. I guess the, the mice don't like it at all. They don't like the smell. I guess it overwhelms their little noses. So this stuff lasts about a month before it starts to wane. What I've been doing is I've been putting a fresh pouch in my trailer about once a month or so and taking the old pouches and kind of putting them in my engine compartment because sometimes pack rats and squirrels like to get in there and do damage. So what I do is I take this little pouch and I have a basement storage here. And there's actually a hole that goes through the bottom for hooking up hoses and power and stuff. And just let it set right in there on that be a good spot. Because underneath there, it goes to my trailer's underbelly. And that's where they usually first get in. So once they're in the underbelly, they usually, I think, come up through holes like this. And that's what I've been doing. And so far, so good. I think I'm going to buy another uh, pack of four for the summer because we're going to be on our boat and the trailer is actually going to be put into storage. So um, I haven't really done that before, so I don't want a bunch of mice or anything getting in there. So I'll probably put a few of these packs around the trailer to try, kind of keep them out. A little pack actually splits into two pouches if you want to put one in a different location as well. Well, there you go. A little update on how I've been dealing with the varmints. I'll leave links in the video description of some posts I've done on tips for dealing with mice and also pack rats. And if anybody has any advice of their own, feel free to leave a comment. Till next time, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. Cheers, everyone.